We started this Neuroscience Society to share and bring to you these hopefully inspiring and thought-provoking sessions, combining the core science behind latest research and their wider implications to help neuroscientists and non-neuroscientists alike engage in this dialogue and celebrate everything to do with the research behind the brain and nervous system. We are hosting an event on neuroethics, but we should first consider what this term actually means. The first two landmark conferences on the topic of neuroethics define the term as the study of the ethical, legal, and social questions that arise when scientific findings about the brain are carried into medical practice and the health and social policies. However, neuroethics also touches on the subjects that have been busy philosophers for thousands of years, questions relating to moral responsibility of human beings, personal identity, and free will. Apart from being uh, of philosophical value, Neuroethics poses questions that ask whether all scientific findings can always be considered as progress. Should we actually want to be able to enhance the human brain? The possibilities for mental enhancement using drugs or other uh, forms of brain stimulation challenge what we perceive to be normal or human. Our abilities to monitor brain activity with a greater understanding then raises the question of whether there is still privacy if marketing people or prospective employers could technically be able to read our minds. Most of all, advances in neuroscience can alter the way we have traditionally been looking at illness in individuals. Recent fMRI scanning has changed our perception of vegetative patients or people in a coma as some emotional processing, language comprehension, and even sometimes conscious awareness might be retained. Related to this are the advances in the field of pain research. Current research alters our understanding of pain states, even in fetuses, which reveals new ethical issues, but hopefully also helps to solve them. And we'll hear more about this very soon. So without further ado, it's time to welcome our first speaker, Professor Mariah Fitzgerald.